What's up, everybody? Welcome to Drinks with Johnny. Today, I am very excited. I am joined by Steph Tolov of uh, Steph uh, Infection Podcast. Yes, that's it. Stand-up comedy. And something that I wanted to ask you about, I was really bummed I just learned this morning. You're in uh, the old dads with uh, Bill. Sorry, wow. You think she'd wow. know how to do Oh my God, I spilled my coffee. Oh my God. God. This is fantastic. My God. This is fantastic. Is there anything to clean up with? No, don't worry about it. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it. There is, okay. So, old dads. Do you didn't see old dads? Bill I haven't seen it yet. I, was, it. I, I know, Thank I you. heard this. What a nice bartender this yeah, is. Yeah, you know, this. This, is, this is the full Jesus service you get here. Christ, yeah. I'll use my little wet thing. <laughs> My little Bucky's mug. Have you ever been to Bucky's? Great I have been gas to station. Yeah, absolutely. Flash, a lot of a lot of times I've been to uh, Bucky's and back in the day traveling on the road, yeah. you know, and the, the Econo vans with the trailer hanging off yeah, the back. Yeah, yeah, disgusting, yeah, disgusting the things we did. Um, <laughs> yes, I farted and I burped and all that. Oh, nice. That's my big role. Yeah. Okay, I gotta watch it now. Uh, yes. I was gonna watch it anyway, but now I'm really gonna watch it. You have it. to, yeah. Bill yeah. actually wrote me into it, which is yeah. hilarious. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. And yeah. how did that how did that come about? I, me and Bill are weirdly friends. Bill Burr, if people <coughs> don't know. Um, William, William Burr. William Burr. Um, yeah, he, well, he, I was in his special on Netflix, and then after that, he, um, I opened for him sometimes on the road, and uh, then he put me in this. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. That's cool. So very He's organic right and stuff, yeah. Very, he saw me on Instagram, very organic. Very I organic. heard, uh, I, I, I seen it pop up on like the trending on Netflix and stuff. Like mm -hmm. every time I go on there and I'm meaning to go watch it, I will. Um, <laughs> I haven't done it yet. Uh, yeah, <laughs> there's so many things to watch out there right now. That's I don't so know, tough. yeah, and I feel bad I've never seen you live, so I guess yeah. it's the same thing. Uh, well, you I'll you. watch you on, on Old Dads. Mm -hmm. You gotta come out and see a show. I will, All right, I'd love cool. to. Um, but yeah, so it looks like that show's blowing up by all, Everything that I'm seeing, uh -huh. so um, that's so got to be a really cool thing to be on. Or yeah, it was my first like movie role, so it was like insane. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It felt it's like it's filmed. It's there's so there's like so many cameras. It was just it was such an insane role to do for like just pretending to fart and burp. They they weren't real. People keep being like, oh, did wait. you actually do that? I was like, you didn't go method. I mean, I could have. I told them, I, I did burp a little you bit. You are the queen of filth. I, well, I did burp a bit, and they were like, the burp wasn't big enough, to be uh, honest. Okay. But I was making myself burp. But then the fart, they're like, we need a specific sound. Oh. And and so you you couldn't like, perform under pressure, is what you're saying. I mean, I probably could have. Okay. <laughs> I can fart quite, I can probably fart right now. Uh, well. <laughs> I could have shit in your toilet, and I didn't. I just peed. Oh, just like, okay. I want to come here and just think up. Can you imagine I came here and took a huge shit the second I got here? It would be very funny. <laughs> what it is probably here would it, it wouldn't be the worst thing that's happened in that bathroom, though, I will say. I have a feeling, yeah, you guys, you guys are partiers, aren't you? Ah, you? Uh, you know. Used to be. Used to be. Okay. Used to be. Now you I got a, I got a son kids. that's about to turn seven tomorrow. Okay. So, yeah. I mean, we still have fun. Don't get me wrong. But you I know, know it's, crazy. it's Yeah. I mean, uh -huh. there's there's a difference of you know being 25 and 39. Mm -hmm. That's what it comes down to. Yeah. No. I I'm <laughs> you just feel it the next I'm, day. I'm that's about it. That's What's only that? You just feel it the next day. That's the only difference. Yeah. Yeah. You feel it. That, and that's yeah. why that's why I'm glad I live in California because I go like without alcohol and just get high and I feel great. It is nice, yeah. When I'm, when I'm in LA, I don't drink that much. It's when I'm outside of LA on the road. I'm like, I'm in Oklahoma City this weekend. You guzzle, guzzle. Like, yeah. it's insane. Well, you are actually outside of LA right now. I am. I, We're in Orange County, Huntington Beach. Feels like and I have a filthy IPA to give the filth queen. I mean, I, I have to have it. Right. It seems rude not to try it. Yeah, we got to get in here. So got it. Just a casual, uh, so the, the listeners notice, a casual 11.22 a.m. Yeah. here. Just, just it's no big deal. <laughs> it's kind of like breakfast that. beer. I, I haven't eaten. I'm sorry. Isn't there a show where the old ladies uh, get hammered at like six o'clock in the morning with um, uh, Hoda? It's like on the regular channels, right? What like is the, this? Golden Girls? What are you talking about? I don't know. It was <laughs> like Golden Kathy Girls. and Hoda back. In yeah, the is that it? Is that show still running? I don't know. I never heard of the show. Yeah. Okay. Well, there we go. There's a lot of head on this one. Well, I'm used to that. Yeah. There she is. There yeah. she is. Coming in on. It's coming. Right. It's coming. Right. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Now she's waking up. Here we That's go. That's it. All right, cheers. cheers. Thanks for cheers. being here. Thanks for having Appreciate me. I hope you enjoy the beer. The tappy down. Oh, it smells good. That's nice. Thank you. No, yeah. I don't normally really like IPs, but that's good. Yeah. Well, thank it's you. Wait, well, what kind of drinks do you usually I'm a lager. For? I'm a lager? classic Canadian. I like Molson Canadian, like a moose head, crisp. Like, not a lot of lagers in California, but it's yeah. mostly IPAs. Yep. Yeah, uh, I definitely have had some Molson up there. Yep. And I don't know why. Maybe it was because I was really young and it was hot out. It was Warp Tour. Oh, but like Warped those Tour. Molsons oh, man. Were out there. Like you have oh. like, I don't know, about four or five of them in the heat and you're pretty fucked up. Maybe but. I have seen you that if you did Warp Tour. <laughs> I did. Yeah. I must have. 
But yeah. we're like close to yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. I definitely because I was I was. What, what big, tours were you on? Yeah, you, you went to I, like the headliners. The year I went were like Bad Religion, Offspring. Um, mm, fuck, who else? I think No Effects was there. Yeah, I mean we did. Uh, the one in the Barry, full though. The ones we did were two thousand summer two thousand three was my first full one, and then okay, so, it must uh, have been summer two thousand four. I think we did another full one, and then five we were there just for like a show, and then two thousand two before that. I wasn't in the band yet, but they had done like stuff on the Kevin Says stage and shit okay, like that. Okay, okay. So it from like 2002 to let's say 2006, we were at least I somewhat must in there. I've been in there, yeah. Okay. Yeah. My younger years, when I used to mosh and get thrown around, now I'm like, I, I went to a mosh pit like kind of recently, and I was like, what am I doing in here? <laughs> like that's my boss. <laughs> well, you already spelled it. I wasn't gonna ask, but you said you're 38. Three. Well, so I, I have a tattoo to me. My, my age on my arm. I'm 85. I'm an idiot. So I'm like, I can't lie in LA. I do Botox. Is it working? It better be. Um, you look great. You look great. I, I'm, it's still the morning. Um, but yeah, I, I went to Death from Above. Do you know the band? Hmm? Toronto, Toronto, Death from Above, 1979. Death from Above, yes, yeah. Yeah, Toronto, do other my favorite band on the planet. No offense. Um, my favorite band. No, and I went to their mosh pit like a, probably five, six months ago, and I like pissed everywhere. I started jumping around, and a bit of pee came out. And I was like, okay. <laughs> and then I'm like, I can't stop now. And then I kept going, and I, I had a full piss. Like I pissed my pants. I came out and I like showed my friends my, my jumpsuit and it was like fully peed. Wow. Yeah, I had a problem. What? You don't mosh when you're old. If you're yeah. younger now, get out of the way now. Yeah, I mean, I haven't moshed since I was in my teens, I don't think. You don't think. have to, you're up there. It's like, yeah. I talked to Toby Morris, I did his podcast, Page 2 Yeah. and he said I can go, I can stage dive from his show, so I've never staged dove before. I've always wanted to. How'd it go? I haven't done it yet. You I, haven't done I, it I haven't yet. done it yet. I want to do it. Oh. Maybe if you would show first, I'll do yours first. Yeah, absolutely. I want to, but I'm like, I gotta, you gotta go on your back. Because one time I was forward and I got honked. People are honking. Wait, wait, there. you just said you've never done it before though. No, I've, I've crowd surfed. Oh, crowd surfed, I've but never, never done I've never a stage did. dive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I really okay. want to do a stage dive. I ha- I've done one stage dive only in my life. That's it? And it was awful. It was awful. Did they catch you though? Uh, no, I didn't make it all the way. So there was oh. like a. <laughs> There was like a space in between, right? Uh, we were out on tour. I don't want to name the band because they, yeah, whatever. Uh, some of the guys in the band are great. There was okay. one person in particular, so I don't want to mention okay, the okay, band. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, but the rest of the guys were great. You know who you are. Uh, we, uh, uh, you know, the last show of a tour was our first time in England. I was 19 years old. And the, the other band was like, oh, you got to come up. You know, last show, they, they were taking us out. They're a bigger band in, okay, in, yeah, in yeah. England in the UK. And they took us out and they're like, you gotta write uh, some kind of bomb or something on, on, with Sharpie, like a word or something that was like an inside joke for them. Okay. And then like surprise the band and jump out and then do a stage dive. And I was like, all right, cool, I'll do it. This is kind of fun. I'm just in my underwear with this shit written on yeah. me. And I go to, to do the stage dive. <laughs> And I hesitate at the at the spot, so don't ever hesitate. No, 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 you just gotta go you for it. You just gotta go for yeah, it. Yeah. I hesitated and then jumped, and I landed on the back of a, secu- a poor security guard against the railing. And the heat. Yeah, no, he went, the fuck? And then just oh like, my God. Up, and everyone had a good laugh. That's embarrassing. <laughs> it was. No, that's was, actually more to find. Yeah, no it offense. was, that's it was. No, it was, it was <laughs> especially for being the, the main support band that this crowd had just seen before yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, that's And they're like, isn't that the bass player? <laughs> <laughs> like, yep, that was him. That was him, and that was embarrassing. Yeah, it was, it was. I'm glad I can share that today. Yeah. Well, I, I rolled my ankle in a water bottle at the same Death of Above show I ran in, and I was like, clearly the oldest person there. And there's also not usually a lot of women in the pits, and I was like, you know, I held my own and they immediately fell. I was like, this is so pathetic. Mm-hmm. I shouldn't be in here. I gotta get out. I, 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 when I was younger, though, I used to be like crazy. Yeah. Like warp Tour, I'd be in the fucking circle. I love a circle pit. Circle pits so are the best. more fun because you're like, yeah, it's yeah, more yeah. like you're skying. When they you know, started, like, when, like in the early 2000s, when they started with all this karate kicking and shit that happened in there, no. I was like, nah, nah, nah. And the I punching? Yeah. I've been no, like punched in the throat like twice. I'm like, what are we doing with the punching? No, it's, it's shoving. Just, yeah. Shovey or like So you come, you come from the old punk rock circle pit world, right? Yes. Is what you're talking about. I, that's, I'm the same yes. way too. That's when I used to pit too, is at the punk rock shows, circle pit, someone falls down, everyone picks, picks them up, up immediately. and everything like that. No one picked me up. No one's in there. No. no one's going into the pit to literally fuck up somebody. No. They're going in there to have a good time. No. I one time met a guy though and fucked him after in the pit. Oh, how? That's what? from above. Again, I saw them at, um, uh, what's the place called? Telegram Ballroom. Downtown LA. Okay. And me and this guy like kind of push each other, and I was like, "The fuck!" And then we both were like, "Oh, hello!" And then we kind of like kind of like mosh around. I was like, "What the hell's going on right now?" And then the pit, like the song stopped for a second. He's like, "Meet me at the bar after." I go, oh yeah. And then we like 
fucked like crazy. And I'm like, we both stunk. It was At disgusting. The no, no, we went back to it. We went back to it. <laughs> but I was like, so gross. We heat like yeah. mosh dick and I had mosh puss and we both went and... <laughs> Mosh it up. Mosh push is a new term. It's disgusting. <laughs> well, you're sweating in I'm there. I'm using that one, by yeah, the way. Go ahead, please. Mosh push is disgusting. I'm going to tell all of my friends now that you got to get mosh push. Yeah, it was gross, but we it was good sex. Did she go down? Or did she? Did he, he go down on you? I think he did, and he shouldn't have. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry if you're listening. You should not have done that, but I was sour. Definitely yeah, I know. Sour. Now he's stoked. Yeah, yeah. He's like, I saw her on Old Dad's, it and is actually, I ate yeah. that mosh push. It's insane when I, like... Some people that I've slept with, and I get like DMs, be like, "Oh, we went on a date two years ago." I was like, "Oh God, I gotta not answer these some of these DMs." <laughs> but some of them, you go like, "Yeah, I'd hit that again." Yeah, well, I have a boyfriend now who I'm oh, okay, wildly in love with, who just moved in with me, so I'm not. And how long yes. have you guys been together? Only five months. We're crazy. Oh, and you just moved in uh-huh. together. He's. Okay, uh, okay. I met him at a comedy show. He's Shooter McGavin from Happy Gilmore's nephew, oh, and wow. he looks exactly like him. And I met him at a comedy show because I was fangirling over his uncle. No. And then he was like, hi. And I was like, your uncle anyways. And then, uh, oh yeah, he DM'd me and then we, it's crazy. That's right. Yeah, it's insane. I'm so happy. And Is he as good of a golfer? He's pretty good. Okay. And he's very funny and he's very talented. He's also a musician. So it's, uh, it's oh, nice. Cool. I know. What does he play? Uh, piano, guitar, and I guess mandolin. I don't know what the fuck he does. Mandolin? Okay. You know, we got a mandolin. Hey, we, we just, we just read the house and they put like his music stuff up because it was all like comedy stuff. And I'm like, I'll be nice because he moves into my place. I'm like, and let's... Put stuff up together. <laughs> it's killing me. It's killing me. It's, 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 like, it's, it's fine. fine. It's fine. pretty cool with it. Well, there's a cowboy <laughs> hat on the wall right now. I don't want the cowboy hat on the wall. I don't want the cowboy hat on the wall. He's on a cowboy. Why is there a cowboy hat on the wall? We'll deal with that when you get home. Yeah. But yeah, it's, no, it's good. It's very good. Well, you did find a cowboy in LA and you're from Toronto. Uh huh. Not a lot of cowboys in Toronto. Not a lot. I'd say zero cowboys in Toronto. Yeah. yeah Vancouver. Up. Vancouver's got cowboys. Do they? I don't know. I, I bought a cowboy so. hat there years well, ago. That was a weird choice. Yeah, uh, I know. Cal- uh, uh, like Edmonton, Calgary, that's more cowboy. Calgary for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Vancouver, yeah. weird. No, no. Strange. No. I don't know why. It was in Vancouver, though, for sure. Oh. And I had like this cowboy hat slash like boot place. Oh. I got boots, spurs, a cowboy Jesus. hat. Jesus. I went all out. Do you like performing in Canada? I love, I, yeah. love, I love performing in Canada. Canada is awesome, fun? especially during the summer. Mm. The winter, no. I can do without. But, I don't need to go to the Canada winter. But summer, summertime, I yeah. love Canada, yeah. Uh, did you travel a lot when you were a kid living there? Yeah, well, I used to um, Highland dance, like Scottish Highland dancing. Oh. Very bizarre. But yeah, we traveled. I'm not Scottish. It makes no sense. I'm Bulgarian. But we used to travel um, every weekend for dancing competitions. So we'd always go to like Michigan a lot and Pennsylvania and then like all over like North Carolina, South Carolina, and then sometimes out in the States, but like, uh, sorry, the West Coast, but yeah, like every weekend we traveled. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, it was wild. So do you still like do the Scottish dance? I mean, I did yesterday as a joke because my boyfriend was playing the piano and I was really high and I was like, play a Scottish tune. And then I was like, what am I doing right now? I'm embarrassed I was doing this. And then (laughs) I forgot to that. So right now I did that. Um, But yeah, no, I don't dance. (laughs) I do not dance. I dance when I'm very drunk. At a bar, if my mom's couple sister are there. Yeah, couple more drinks with Johnny. <laughs> drinky, drinky, more IPA. Um, we'll make it yeah. for the TikTok of this episode. <laughs> for God's sakes. Um, no, I haven't danced in a while. Okay. Yeah. But we, I want to talk about this, so we, I guess, have almost kind of met. A couple of times. A couple of times now. Yeah. One of them, that we, before we hit uh, record on everything, our producer, Sam, who's back there, uh, was asking a question about what, which, which, Place well, Punk was and Trublick. That's where Punk I, and Trublick is where yes. you heard her. And so, then yes. I didn't realize until I put it together and then I was like, hey, did you happen to do that? Because there was someone that looked a lot like you. And yes. that was an odd place for comedy. I had short hair. It was like five or six years ago. Yeah. So and it was out here in Huntington. There, it was very bizarre because they had the comedy on a side stage that no one knew about. And then all the bands on the main stage. So I think... Um, fat, was that the one my, on the beach? Yes. Fat Mike oh, booked the comedians. He's a good friend of my buddy Dave Ross. Mm-hmm. If you know him, he's like involved with a bunch of like you know band people. So he booked the show, and then I hosted it, and it was like hilarious because like as I was hosting, all of a sudden I see me on the big screen on the main stage, and I was like, no one knows where I am. I'm like, we're over here. I'm trying to like tell people to come over to like the little <laughs> side bar area. I'm like, you want to see the live comedy? But that is not conducive for comedy. No. It's, it, I love the way bands think that comedy works. The only time I've seen it work, actually, Death from Above, years ago, had a comic open for them in Toronto at the Opera House. I'm not sure if you played there. Uh, it's haunted as hell. On Broadview in, like, uh, Queen. It's Super possible. cool venue. Uh, you it's probably possible. have. Um, but they had like, a guy, like, doing stand-up while they were setting up. 
because they used to set up their own stuff and it was mm-hmm. like kind of more intimate and cool, but like you're not fully listening. So, so the opera house is like a club, right? Yeah. Right, like, okay, I'm. It's like an old opera house turned into a, a venue now and it's yeah, super yeah, cool. Yeah. I um, remember. I, I, I'm sure I have been, but yeah. Sorry. But yeah, yeah, that. but like it's just, it's, it's, it's a weird combo because we are like, you know, I think we're in the same vein of like the way we perform. It's and, all like, entertaining. Yeah, yes. But it, it just, it did not work at that venue. And then apparently we were at Fat Mike's house for that. The weekend at Fatty's that yes, he did. They yes. did a, a white trash, two heaps, and a bean in its entirety at his house. And it was yes. like, I remember it being right toward, like right after uh, people were just getting out of their houses in quarantine. And that's why he was doing it at yes, his house. Yes, yes, it wasn't yes, a yes. venue. And it was outside. And it was so outside in his safe. backyard. Yep, yep, yep. Thought it was more safe. Everyone was, a lot of people wearing masks. I don't know if everyone was wearing masks, but. Uh, I wasn't. And I, I had just started dating this new guy and I brought him. And everything was going fine until at one point he uh, said something severely racist. He was a Swedish guy, and I was like, "What was that?" Like, I can't say it on here. I would never repeat what he said. It was wow. very bad, and I was like, "Oh, oh!" Actually, my, my Dave was there, and he's like, "Did he just say everything he said?" I was like, "What the fuck?" So like, my entire mood changed. I was like having such a good time, and then the show was like an hour and a half after that. And I was like, "Oh, I'm here with the fucking racist. What the hell is it to do with this?" So wow. I do the show. And at this point now, now I'm drunk. Now I'm like, "Well, I can't be sober on this fucking psychopath." So I get hammered. Do the show. It was very strange because it was like at night and there was like people now who have been drinking all day and it's like the weird little like they, he pushed out chairs out of his living room. It was very bizarre, and then all of a sudden things got a little wild. Um, so fat Mike is friends with a lot of porn stars, which yeah. I weirdly now I'm good friends with a girl who was at that that show, um, Samantha Mack, okay. Canadian porn star. We're like we're super good friends. Now. She's actually doing my show tonight in L.A. Awesome. I met her kind of through this night. Anyways, um, everyone was kind of getting thrown in the pool and then. You know, Fat Mike was having some people do some things to him. Um, he likes to partay in, yeah. in a different way than most people. And I'm like, well, I'm going to leave. Uh, and then the guy I was with was like, no, I'm going to stay. I was like, and now you're going to stay without me, thinking that he was going to be part of the mix? I'm like, you're not getting part of the mix. Yeah. They're with Fat Mike. No one knows who your racist ass is. And then, uh, yeah, then he, like, he refused to leave. Then he like, went home with me, and I had to like, kick him out of my house. It was a nightmare. What? Anyway, so the story really turned That's dark. That's a great date. Yeah. <laughs> if, you're listening, yeah if you're listening, if you're listening, you're a piece of shit. You're not getting your books back. Um, <laughs> Wait, what books? I got to know there, what I was like books. a Noam Chomsky book that I didn't even fucking read yet. <laughs> I wish it was. How to be racist and not tell people. Um, yeah, it was, a, it was his own. It was a, he, wrote, he wrote it. No, it was very uh, insane. But anyways, that was... It was such a fun night it turned into like such a horrendous thing. Yeah. Well, but I, I met, I we must have, we were there at the same time. I left early, like I, before we hit record, I forget what I had to get back for. I had like a family barbecue or some shit here. Which, but you mean, anything after dark when you have, uh, you start drinking at 11 a.m., bad stuff happens. Weird. Yeah. It's weird. It gets murky. Yeah. Lines get Especially crossed. Especially if you're trying to like have performances going on. Like yeah. maybe if everyone's just getting drunk and playing games at your house or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, but it was like, uh, uh, yeah. I felt oh. bad because we really want, I want. I was like so pumped to do the show. I was like, "This is such yeah. a cool venue," and I'm like, "I like all the bands and stuff." So I was like, bummed out. Yeah. How did they respond to you while you're doing stand up there? It was. Were strange. you doing crowd work or just jokes? Or uh, no, I was doing mostly jokes at that time, and it was like it was just. It should have been in the day when everyone was there because it was like people didn't know the comedy show was happening. And they kept moving the time, so by the time we started doing it, they had brought out like maybe 15 chairs. So some people were kind of sitting, and people were like still kind of like setting up band stuff or like putting stuff away. So it was very weirdly set up. Wait, so where specifically was it set up? Because I've heard you describe it a couple times now. But like where they played uh, White Trash was mm-hmm. but on the end of the pool and Not everyone there. was on the side. No, okay. so against his house. Against we had like right by side? his sliding doors. Like the same side of the pool. Oh, that same side yes. right there. Okay. Right there. So it was just a very weird setup. Also comedy doesn't always work outside like that. Outside in comedy is strange. It's, Why do you think that is? It, there's no ceiling. So the, if, if, even if you are doing well, you feel like you're bombing because you can't hear the laughs at all. Oh. oh. Yeah, it's very hard to do it in like a, a, a giant... Anytime like if you do like an arena or something too, like the laughs, it, they roll in at a different time. Like mm. huge theaters too. So you, you think you're bombing so you start to panic up there. Mm. But you're like, oh no, I'm actually doing well but I can't tell. Because mm. it's such a weird reaction. Yeah. And like, you, get, clubs, you get the slap used to like, back from arenas. Yeah. Like, I, I, you know, you get that from performing too, like that slap back that you're talking about, like only happens in arenas and sometimes like on a tour, I might be in an arena one night and the next night I'm in an amphitheater. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it like totally changes what I'm hearing. Yeah. It's, it, it's, uh, I, can, I can understand And you guys that. have monitors, right? Hearing you back? We use in-ear monitors. Okay, yeah. So, I mean, that's kind of like the gold standard now. Okay. Days, like everyone, yeah, yeah, yeah. Most everyone does. It's pretty like 
I only hear like the old school players that still use wedges, which is like the monitor spacing yeah. and stuff. But sometimes they try playing those up at places. I'm like, I don't want to hear myself. Mm. I know what I sound like, and I, I hear it enough. <laughs> I have to edit my own clips. I don't want to watch this any more than you do. I'll tell you that. Yeah. Yeah. Dude. So speaking of like your podcast though, real quick, let's get into the stuff. Yeah. In fact, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I was gonna say to a little bit about it. Um, is it uh, like the episode that you just released? Chris you guys are, uh, Oh no, Lee, Chris and Liam. Yes. Yes, and you guys are talking about infections. Is it always about infections that it's, your guests well, got? <laughs> it's, so it started because I'm like, it's called staff infection. Obviously, my name's staff, but like, I always have something wrong with me. I always have some weird ailment or something since I've been a kid. So I, I was like, let's figure out a way to me be able to talk about my ailments and not be disgusting. Everybody has had something wrong with them. Everyone's had a body issue. They've had an operation. They've had a surgery. They've had like a weird rash. You don't know what it is. Everyone's had something. So I'm like, I want a platform for people to talk about it. And it's weird because so many people now have figured out what they have from this fucking podcast. So I had this, really? I, I, me, for example, it's I like had a this, new love line. It's right? crazy. <laughs> I had like a weird rash on my hand and I was calling it toad hands and no one knew what it was. I now know that I have this specific form of eczema that I've gotten because five or six people on the podcast have had it and they got diagnosed and then sent me photos. I'm like, that's what I have. So now I can go to my doctor and be like, Wait, I have this. What does that look like? I got, I got <laughs> dots on my do hand you? right now. Oh, you do? Let me yeah, see. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, no, dots. are they blistered up? Or are they just like, no. oh, okay. No, they're blistered up. Here's me, I'm like, I'm, like, I'm a doctor now. I'm like, I know. <laughs> I'm like, also, comics have a lot of stories of things they don't normally want to say on stage, like longer like uh, operations that are funny that they don't like to talk about shit themselves or whatever the fuck it is, but like, and I have like porn stars on and actors, any, anybody on. And musicians, mm -hmm. like I, Toby did it. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to have like anybody, because I'm like, sure you've like had an accident on stage or something, or like at some point you're like, probably, you're like no, I'm perfect. I am absolutely <laughs> perfect. Of course. I mean, look at me, I'm fucking absolutely perfect. I mean, perfect. nothing's ever wrong. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so I think it's just, a, it's a platform for people to openly talk about things they don't always talk about. And I think it makes, it's something that my comedy I think does too. It makes people feel a bit better about themselves and not, you know. Mm -hmm. Not feeling like so. I'm very open with stuff, so I'm like, I think it's a. I, and I, again, I just have I have body stuff all the time. Like I'm mm -hmm. always something always wrong with me. Really? Yeah. I got a crazy. Um, the vaccine gave me a crazy allergic reaction, oh, so shit. I get covered in hives. Uh, like head to toe almost every day. Still? It's gone down, but um, yeah, I, I was filming something in Canada, and they tried to get me to get a, like a fourth shot. I was like, I can't. I cannot get any more. I'm like, I, 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 I'm like, I'm literally like ill off it now. Yeah. It's bad. Sometimes it gets so bad my throat closes and I have to go to the hospital. Um, but yeah. it has been good. So I take an allergy pill every morning. Every morning? Every morning. I have to take a pill, yeah. Is this from when you were younger too? I, no. I was fine when I was younger, but then I kept getting weird like patches of other stuff. I think I've just had like, skin issues my whole life. And then, yeah, apparently if, you, if you're out there listening, you the Moderna vaccine. It was a Moderna. Moderna yeah. specifically, if you had a, a pre-existing skin issue, it, it can trigger things and bring them back. So if anybody else is like struggling with hives, because I, I know like now like six or seven people, friends of mine that have the same thing I have from the Moderna specifically. Damn. I know. But I always have something. There's always like, I hit my head five times yesterday and I was bleeding. I have a bump in my head. I don't know what it is. Wait, you hit your head time. five times yesterday? Yeah, I kept hitting it. I hit it on the couch and I hit it on my boyfriend's elbow and then I hit it on the washing machine and then I hit it on the shower. Was I, this I, all I, during sex with your boyfriend? No, <laughs> <laughs> it's like, one time. One time, one time. <laughs> it was a bed, it was a washing machine. It was a good, yeah, 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 we fucked in the washing machine and I go in. It's a fun game. Well, it's like one of those porn movies yeah, where right? you're stuck, like, you're stuck yeah, in the yeah, steps yeah, over yeah, there yeah. trying to do the laundry and he's like, hey. <laughs> stuck in the couch looking for some change. Um, that's just, that's the poor person's porn. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah it, it, I, I'm, I'm just very klutzy too, so there's always, there's always something happening. I'm always mm. mucking around with something. And you mentioned you were on Toby's podcast there. Yes. Um, met Toby a few times, great dude. Great guy. Um, great podcast, yeah. Very so good, oh, he's so nice, he's, he's so chill to talk to. His dog farted twice during it, and I almost <laughs> threw up. It was the worst fart of my life, I swear to God. And I was like, I had to say something, I'm like, I don't even think it's my fart. Like, he had to light a candle, he was so mad. It was the war, it was like, I'm like, are you feeding your dog raw liver? Like, what is the smell coming out of its ass? It was crazy. Is his dog vegan? <laughs> his dog, if that's vegan, there's no way it's a vegan ass. That, that was pure Have you been ass. around a lot of vegan asses? I have been around a lot of asses. I, this sniffer sniffs a lot. I'm saying uh, yeah. you fart, either of you fart right now, I will smell it. Could you, tell my, could you tell me what I had for breakfast? If you farted. <laughs> <laughs> This is, getting, this is getting very bizarre now. Uh, yes, anytime you mention yeah. fart on this uh, episode, take go ahead and take a drink. Take yeah. a <laughs> it's going to be a good drinking game, yes. Mm -hmm. and I love that you use the moniker Filth Queen, too. Yeah, I don't know when this kind of started. I became... I, I've always been dirty. And here's the problem. Everyone always comments. I, I get trolled a lot, and they're always like, 
well, all women can do is be dirty. I'm like, first of all, name me a, a clean male comedian. There's five. Seinfeld, Brian Regan. That's all I know. I, 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 don't, I don't know any more than that. Um, that's simply all I know. Um, but I don't know when this started or how this got this far, but I'm like, I just, I'm not trying to be dirty. People think I'm like thinking, I'm like, even my crowd works dirty. I'm like, my mind just goes there. I'm a pig. Mm-hmm. It's simply it's it. In, it's, it's, simply from, it. it's from pissing in the pit. It's from pissing in the pit. Yeah, it's yeah. the piss pit, it's the mosh puss, it's all that stuff. <laughs> As a kid, the, I mean, yeah, I, we were, I was There's no fake in it. It's all real, all right? It's all, I wish it was fake. <laughs> fake pissing, that'd be so insane. Yeah. Yeah, it, there's a lot going on. But yeah, I think it's also now I'm like, it's become, it's working. People like it. I got, I got a new tattoo, Filth Queen tattoo. I got a little oh, queen, nice. a little crown, a little Filth When'd Queen When did you get crown. that done? In Tacoma last weekend. Oh, nice. And I know. So you're like, are you active in the middle of touring right now for, yes. for everything? Yeah, what, what do you got coming up? Uh, a lot. Oklahoma City, Grand Rapids, uh, Rochester, fucking uh, Vancouver. I'm, it's all over. All over. And everyone can yeah. go find it at? at? Go to my Instagram, at Steph Tolev. Just go on my Instagram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm forcing people over there. It's, it's yeah. insane. I, yeah, me and my boyfriend actually shot a video the other day where I rubbed my pussy lips, speaking of filthy, on his head like I was spotting him at the gym. <laughs> and I literally, it's me rubbing my whole pussy on his head. Uh, and I'm like, people are like, this is hilarious. I'm like, then fucking follow the account. Yeah. Like, what do you, everyone's so, sorry I'm not posting my bare tits and ass. You're going to see some pussy lips on there. <laughs> follow the account, God damn it. If you want some uh, mosh pussy lips. Yes, get That's get the on. account to follow. <laughs> and and fi- find those, uh, the, find those uh, tour dates. I got to go on because yes. I start tour in March, beginning of March. Where so you might going? actually be. So I'm starting on the, I'll be in the East Coast too. Okay. So uh, we're starting in Buffalo. And Are you in New York at all? East and, uh, not, we're in Jersey at the very end of it. Okay. But, uh, this is a third well, New York, year. Buffalo at yeah, the yeah, beginning, yeah. but you'll be elsewhere. Yeah, I'll be gone. Yeah, we'll, yeah. we'll look at there's them. There's gotta we'll be, yeah, We'll look at them, they'll intertwine There's gotta point. be intertwine at some point. I should yeah. check, because I'm like, I want to yeah. come see a show, and I want, because you, also, like, you guys can all come see the show, whatever. I'd love to come see yeah, it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. absolutely. Have Fun. you ever done Rec Room here in Huntington? I have done the Rec Room, yes. The Huntington, is that, that one's, it's just, again, the drive out here. When do you have a normal club that you like? Yeah, I'm at the Comedy Store almost all the time when I'm yeah. in town. Comedy Store and the Improv are my two main clubs. We got to get back out to the Comedy Store. I've only been once. You should come to my show, Filth. First Tuesday tonight? of the month. It's sold out tonight. You can't come tonight. Okay. But <laughs> <laughs> wow. But the March show. Oh, you're not here in March. Damn it. <laughs> I would get, I'm, like, I can't, I'm sorry. It sells out. The show sells uh, it's out. Okay. It's okay. That's fair. Everyone, it's, get your tickets early to that. You have to. You um, must have them. Yeah. Well, then the next time I'm, I am in town on the mm-hmm. first Tuesday of the month. I will uh, make sure to come out to yeah. that because I'd like to. Uh, we got some uh, other mutual friends that have done the comedy store as well that were on your podcast too. Who? Uh, Chappelle Lacey. Love Chappelle Lacey. Love that dude. He's um, the best. What was, I didn't listen to the episode yet though. I apologize. Uh, what was his ailment? What, what he was, didn't really have a lot. Yeah, I was <laughs> he's a say, sweet. Was he's like, a sweet boy. Yeah, yeah. No, he talked a lot about his upbringing and like cheerleading and stuff. But he's, uh, yeah, he's a very sweet. For a guy who doesn't like to talk about cheerleading, oh Chappelle, you seem to be talking <laughs> about it a lot on other people's podcasts. I was dragged. <laughs> did he do this podcast? <laughs> he's been on this podcast okay. a couple of okay. times. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah he yeah. literally said, "You guys, when we record, I don't want to talk about cheerleading," and he brought it up. He brought it up. I think that's like, what he said to me too. He's like, "Let's not bring it up," and then I, he immediately did. I was like, "Well, I have to." <laughs> it's, in, it's an insane thing you did. Anyone do, in comedy. Doing cheerleading is so bizarre. So yeah. I wanted to like, especially a man of his stature too. Yeah, it's a bizarre. <laughs> Have you seen the photos of him? Yeah, it's, it's so funny. Yeah, he's a very sweet boy. I like him a lot. Yeah, he just got past the comedy store. He's doing very well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard. Uh, uh, shout out, shout out to yeah. Follow him. Follow him. Follow. Follow, follow all of us. Follow That's all of us. <laughs> follow the show. I don't you know, know what you're heck? watching if you're not. Well, if you're in my Watkins too, I yes. I learned that about. I saw him the other day here in Huntington. I was like, dude. You talking about your wife, I had no idea that he's such a wholesome dude. Wholesome. He's had sex with one woman, her. I know, that's wild. It's crazy. Because every time that gets brought up, like I, I did another podcast. Oh, I, yeah, I did another, um, another podcast. We, it's called uh, Podcast But Outside, where they t- talked to random strangers. And this guy came up and he was like um, a very religious man. And he's never had sex. And he was like 65 or 66 or something. And I was like, if you knew my number. And then I said my number, which I, th- I think I over exaggerated. I said 150. I think it's around there. The but fact that you don't know. No, I know. I have a list. I, I know. I have a list. I have a list. <laughs> no, you, don't, you do not have it in your phone. 
I'll show you right now. Oh, well, I gotta see that. I gotta see I'll that. Sure, no, I have a, I, it's not numbered, but I have a list. If my boyfriend, we have to cut this part off. I'm kidding. <laughs> he won't watch it, but he can't see this. Because we, we, we started talking about our numbers. Don't do that when you're dating somebody. No way. Because in my head, I thought his was going to be lower. So here's my list. I'll do a quick little skimmy, skimmy. So the problem, oh boy, the problem with my <laughs> list, it's pretty long. Yeah. Oh, I haven't even added somebody. Oh, he is on there. Uh, I love the one, one of them just says Scary Florida. Like, not the, the names. Yeah, I was gonna say, is it first and <laughs> no, last no, no, names? No, 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 no. Like, is the it... second one is Wizard, Butthole Lips, then Bandana, <laughs> okay. then Couch, is there, then is there Ice any, Cream. Is there any describing the, the man's penis? Um, oh, yeah, one of them, John, big, it's the emoji. Oh, gets the, yeah. gets the, big John, John, big, big John. John. Yeah, yeah. Oh, What's John. Talking? If John, if you're listening, we, whoo, that was a big old dick. Um, How wind, sore? Wind, this one, Wind River, Velcro Sandals, that one's hilarious. Velcro Sandals? I have sandals? no idea who that is, actually. To be honest with you, um, I have one that says in brackets, I'm a little baby. Like some of them are just. Uh, oh, wait, 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 You can't just graze over I'm a little baby. Oh, what no, is that? I remember I, I just. Was that a fetish one where no, someone had to no. dress up as a baby? <laughs> <laughs> no, I just got a wax and then he was eating me out and I was like, I'm a little baby. And then we both kind of. Because that's what like, guys love to hear. <laughs> no, he laughed. He laughed into my vagina. That, he actually enjoyed it. It was funny. Was, that, um, your, was that your favorite uh, re- crowd reaction? When you got a laughing yeah. straight, into into your, <laughs> straight into your vagina. You know what my favorite crowd reaction is when people in the crowd go, Jesus Christ. That's my favorite. <laughs> and it happens. I, I, would, I would agree with you. That's got to be the best. It happens almost at least once a That's weekend. Like, 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 oh, yeah. I was like, oh, I got them. I got them good. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And they're so vocal. Yeah, there, there's a lot. There's, there's, I'd say there's a That's lot solid. in there. Yeah, That's yeah, solid. yeah. There's a lot in there. See, that's like the new age. It's no longer the Gene Simmons with his photo album, you know. He had a photo album? That's the rumor. I mean, I've never met the man, but uh, the the rumor is he had a photo album over with obviously Polaroids of the... uh, I hope they knew they were getting their photos taken. They probably did. I'm sure they did. Yeah, yeah. It's hard to take a Polaroid secretly. Like, it's easy to like kind of do this, but I got to imagine, I mean, you also imagine this was all done through mostly the 70s and 80s. Yeah, they probably so, pumped to be there. Yeah, it was yeah, a different yeah, yeah. time. You know, they weren't they weren't all just uh, trying to make some money later with some. Uh, yeah, you yeah, know. Yeah. I hope any of these guys. I dare you. I don't know what the hell you're gonna say. <laughs> Not a lot of it was good sex. I'll tell you that. It was probably um, a lot of you know. Yeah. Some of them, I'm sure. Well, John certainly. I mean, John. John was one. Of, I remember John specifically because we went to what's that bar called? Um, good times with Davy Wayne's. Right downtown LA, right in Hollywood. And we were mm-hmm. making out. And then I like kind of put, I put my hand like literally on his like a knee. And I was like, oh, something's on your leg. I swear to God, I was like, something's wow. on your leg. And then I was like, I looked down and I went, oh my God. I remember I like visibly was like, <laughs> and then I immediately went, do you want to go back to my house? He's like, yeah. And I was like, I literally was like, I've never seen such a thing. Wow. It was too long, to be honest. Too, wait, wait, wait. Like, it was too big. It was so, simply so too big. So you couldn't go balls deep. I mean, I would have been in the hospital. <laughs> I would have. I would have been. So what is that like? I, was I, I mean, been, I know what it's like punctured. on this end, but what's it like for a female? I, I would have punctured. It was like there's no. But I honestly, I just feel right? bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was you. Um, I honestly feel bad for him because I don't think he'll ever get to experience it all the way. In. No, 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 no person. No person. There's no way unless he fucked a horse or something. I don't know what to tell you. There's I, I no mean, way. Like, what about? I mean, I see girls in porn taking some some pretty big. I don't know where they're going. Yeah. To you be think honest. that's you think that's uh, that's. Uh, videography? No, I think trickier? they're doing it, but I'm like, I don't know where it's going. <laughs> uh, I'm your friend Samantha. I'll ask Samantha tonight. I'll, you know what? She's doing my show tonight. I'll ask her tonight. On, on, on stage. Her, I mean, you could compare John's to one of the her, her John, biggest. I have, have, yeah, I can, I can probably. Yeah, no, it wasn't. I, I'm really <laughs> a party song. I'm really oh, over. I was deep right throating, but he was down here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, it was. That seems insane. It was a circus act. Um, Do you know that comedian? I'm, I'm drawing a blank on the name. Quip. Quilly, she dated uh, Darius Rucker. No. No, I don't know. But my wife went to see Darius Rucker, and she's like, her and her friend watched the whole performance, and they got in the car, and they're like, did you see? And she's like, yeah, yeah. And apparently he's just like hung to his knees. Like, oh, you could really? see through his jeans. And she dated a comedian, and I was just like, I wonder if well, that goes around. Well, well, well. That's no, where he's hiding the blowfish these days. Yeah, right? <laughs> right? I will, <laughs> say, I will say my boyfriend, he's, he's packing some meat. Oh, yeah? No, we don't hate what's going on down there. And he's, right. he walks around nude all the time, so I'm like, <laughs> I've never given more blowjobs in my life. Like, really? I, it, oh, midday. Oh, yeah. I'm just, I'm Maybe sucking that's all the time. key. We just need to walk around our houses naked. If you're walking around naked, I'm telling you right now, the dick's out and it's, it's in my mouth. I don't want to tell you. It's always out. Okay. It's nonstop. 
I don't stop. <laughs> That's why I'm all clogged up right now. It's just, <laughs> I'm all stuffed up from having too much cock in my mouth. That's the problem here. Has anyone been this gross on this podcast before? Mm. Not continuously. <laughs> Not continuously. Not okay. yet. Yeah, yeah. okay. okay, okay, it okay. comes in peaks usually. Oh, okay. Like, well, this, this is, is like really up there gone. You look. You give me some day beer. Jesus I'll tell Christ. You. Christ. <laughs> <laughs> <Jesus Christ. laughs> Everyone's just commenting Jesus Christ right now. Yeah, the they're like, we, why do we watch this? I mean, <laughs> you, you announce it with Felt Queen. They'll know what's going on. Yeah. So uh, let's bring it back to music a little bit. Yes. It's like uh, you know music. the. You know, the cross, whatever the fuck those kids uh-huh. call it these days. Um, so we've talked about punk rock. That's obviously what you grew up on, I imagine. Then, right? Yes, I started, yes. Yeah. So I have like, it's really, I should have fucking brought it. I have a fucking, um, I have a little book of all the concert tickets I've ever gone to in my life. I saved every single one. Is it longer than the list of men you fucked? It's pretty close. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty long though. I was a huge, my dad, uh, when me and my sister were growing up, we only listened to Alice in Chains, SCP. Um, like crazy grunge shit. Nice. So I was like used to that. Like me and my sister used to be able to sing Ozzy Osbourne's No More Tears start to finish. Like I have a video, I can send it to you guys if you don't believe me. I, I showed this on Chappelle's podcast. Me and my sister singing Ozzy Osbourne's No More Tears as, as like literally seven year old girls with like little dolls. Like it was crazy. That's so rad. I just was heavily into like rock at a young age. And then yeah, once I hit high school, I got super into like a lot of punk stuff. And then I went through like a more alternative phase. And now I'm still in like a, I, I'm like open to a lot of stuff. But I, I try to see bands as much as possible because I love seeing live music and... Did you ever, see now you're dating a guy who's also a musician. Yes. Have you ever tried to pick up an instrument of, of your own? Yes, so I, I have taken my first drum lesson uh, like two months ago. And nice. my drum teacher's gonna be mad if he listens to this because I haven't really done it since. Uh, I've, I have got a drum kit when I was 24 and I really want to drum, but my problem was I was like trying to teach myself. So I play like Queens of Stone Age, I put my headphones on and be like, like why am I trying to keep up with fucking Dave Grohl? This is psychotic. Like, what is my problem right now? So I'm trying to, I had somebody, one of my fans, super nice guy, gave me a little drum pad to travel with on the road. So I, I need to just start doing it like at least once a day for an hour. Mm-hmm. So yeah, my boyfriend has a, a keyboard set up. So I was trying to, I'm very bad at that. I, I tried playing so, uh, something as I did not work. So I think drums is the one, because I'm, I'm good at using both my hands and both my feet, so I think I can, because I'm sucking so many dicks and making awesome guy. <laughs> could, you see, knew, <laughs> could you see where my mind went when I, I looked at your eyes? I knew it was going to, so I had to say it. I was like, I, was like, I know what you want me to say, and I want to say it. <laughs> on the list, <laughs> back got to you the to list. learn back to the list. that you had this talent. Um, um, Yes, I jerk off like my an feet octopus. Too. Yeah. yeah, 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 very ambidextrous. Um, <laughs> but yeah, because I've always wanted. I'm, it's the same thing where it's like I'm sure you know every musician want to be a comedian, every comedian want to be a musician. It's that weird like thing. But I, I truly thought I'd be a really good drummer. I don't know why. My yeah. whole life. And how has it been? Like you said, I mean, I'm okay. Like, you're okay. I made my drama teacher be like, "Do I have anything at all?" I'm not. I don't think I'm gonna be like good or anything. But I'm like, can I actually play? And it was, it was super embarrassing because I told Bill I wanted to drum. So, Bill Burr, I opened for him in Toronto at the Air Canada Center, Scotiabank Arena now, 19,000 seat arena. Wow. It, this was like last August. It was the craziest shows of my entire life. So the day of, Bill's like, oh, I got this guy to come in and set up a drum kit. You should come in and check, me, check it out. I was like, what? He's like, yeah, you play drums. I'm like, oh, no, no, I've, I've played, like, what? Like, I, I, I panic. So Bill's like, come. I'm like, obviously I'm going to not hang up Bill Burr. So I go, full drum kit in the middle of this empty arena. Bill is just fucking rocking out. And I'm like, this is so I'm watching Because he's him. a good drummer. He's a good drummer, yeah. yeah. So I'm watching him, like, this is hilarious. Then he hands me the drum sticks. He goes, all right. And I was like, what? And he goes, yeah, yeah, he's, I'm gonna go get ready for the show, but uh, have fun. And I was like, huh? So I'm standing there and the guy that said the drum kit can tell I'm, I'm like, he's like, what the fuck? And I'm looking at him, I'm like, I went to Bill laughed, I'm like, this is so embarrassing. I'm like, I don't really play drums. I'm like, I told Bill I want to play drums, whatever. And he ended up being good friends with Alexis on Fire. I'm oh, sure yeah. you know. Yeah, so I'm yeah. good friends with We just did a tour with them. Oh, uh, I fucking yeah. love them. I I'm good friends with George. Oh, yeah. So, George, I weirdly met George years ago. Was George, George on the show? George, really? <laughs> yeah. George was like a fan of mine and I was a fan of his. And we met and his wife's like, sorry, my husband's being a weirdo. And I'm like, is your husband George Pennant from Alexis on Fire? She's like, yes. And I was like, and we, it was crazy. So we're like, he gets me back to his passes too all the time. He's, he's the best. Um, but it was George's buddy. Who set up the drum kit? I was like, oh my God, thank God that I know you through somebody. I'm like, I don't know how to play. Just take a couple pictures of me pretending to play drums and I'll get the fuck out of here. He's like, yeah, great. And it was hilarious because I was like so embarrassed. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to play drums and I, it's also, I'm just, it's, I'm very busy. Yeah. It's very hard to like come home and, you know, edit the podcast clips and all this shit and book shows and podcasting. You know, it's, it's Well, I'm lot. glad you brought up that the, the, the workflow of podcasting because 
Uh, we're, we're, you know, kind of novice still at this. I mean, we're, we're about to hit our 200th episode, so not really novice, but this has been like a passion, hobby kind of project that I'm yeah. doing on the side with a couple of buddies here, having a good time, getting to meet fun people. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, all that. So we're, we kind of just started not even knowing what a podcast is. So I was curious about, uh, about how, how long have you been doing the podcast now? And when, I mean, do you feel like you've, you've got it in a good spot now? No. <laughs> <laughs> good, because no, I wanted no, to no, make no. sure. <laughs> no, no, no. I was like, what did you figure out? No, no, no. I, I figured out that I'm not uh, a massive celebrity yet. Mm. And I'm not like... Because I'm so niche, I think it's hard for me to break into the bigger. Like, I've never made the top 200 on the podcast thing. And I'm like, I'm having huge guests. I've, I've had Burr, Bobby, I've Bobby had Bobby Lee, Lee yeah. I've had fucking, like, I've had big people. Bobby Moynihan from SNL. Like, I'm having big fucking guests. Oh, yeah. It's just, I, it's Love hard for Bobby me to break. Because I think Bobby Moynihan's Fuck, the funniest so funny. man on the planet. So funny. If you want to watch, if you want to watch any of my episodes, for God's sakes, watch that one. He made me laugh to a point where I was, like, crying. Like, insane. Anyways, he, uh, I, I'm trying so hard, but I think it's because I'm niche and I'm not like a, a sex symbol in the female comedy thing. So it's hard for people to like. Until now. Till now. Yeah, all those dicks I'm sucking. Um, <laughs> and, uh, no, it was, it was the mosh bus. It was the mosh bus. That's what people are like, well, I want to see what that is. <laughs> also, the only fans are for the mosh bus. Um, and, and, and they just mosh bus. mosh bus. Go, go follow it now because by the time this episode comes out, I'm sure she's already yeah, started. Yeah, yeah, I've already started. It's going to be pictures of different mossy knolls. Like, it's going to be like moss piles. Um, yeah, it's very hard. It's very, and I think because I talk about gross stuff, it's hard for people to relate. But like the people who do like my podcast, like when I'm on the road and people come in line, I do like a meet and greet. They're like, your podcast helps me so much, gets me through this stuff. I'm like, that makes it worth it. So at this right. point, I'm like, I don't even give a fuck that it's not, you know, as far as I think it should be because I'm trying so fucking hard on this damn thing. I'm sure you are too. Like, mm -hmm. this is like, I'm like, yeah, I'm like, that's why I'm always like, trying. The, the cool thing is, is there's no... Similar to music or maybe comedy too, I don't know, but I assume, uh, you know, you're, you're constantly working on it and learning yes. new things of what works and what doesn't. Mm -hmm. And I mean, you know, there's, there's got to be you know, some similarities in, in stand-up comedy, you, you know, because you've got to go out and try you these. Try, yes, that's why I'm like, I drove to Huntington Beach, unlike Morgan J. Morgan J is going to be on the Yeah, uh, Morgan J, who refused to come out here because it's fucking raining. Excuse me. He's where is he from originally? I'm gonna find out. Where I don't even from? know, but he lives in Venice. And guess what? Also, I'm like, I know I make people drive to my podcast. I'm like, it's so much better in person. Yeah, way better. Oh, buzzy, buzzy. Um, <laughs> it's but it's better in person. It's also, I get it. I get it. for the clips and everything. You need to do this whole thing. Yeah, but it's and, it's and you were doing a lot of it your, yourself for a long time. I mean, yes. you're still doing all of it yourself. No, I or? have I have a new YouTube guys that are taking over and helping me because it was a lot of work. So they're doing all the editing, the thumbnails, the clips. So at this point, are you literally just like in the room with a with a guest or two or whatever? Yes. Hit record and then send all the raw yes, stuff off to somebody. That's what's happening. That just happened literally in the last three weeks. Why am I but toiling over that, all this stuff myself? I uh, don't know. It's a lot. <laughs> I, I still like. My, that's the fun part to me though, because I'm a I'm a nerd. Uh, like okay. when it comes to audio and video stuff, I always have been since I was a little kid. Like uh, the first time I got my own bedroom, I have two older brothers. I like rigged up like a bunch of stereo equipment and stuff. Okay. And, like I've you, always been yeah, into yeah. that and having nice TVs in the house and stuff. So that makes it look. Like we have a laugh on here, so you're getting real serious about it. So yeah. It's a loose yeah. Mic. Well, that's yeah, what yeah, I did yeah. right away. I was like, I don't. I know. It, I know everyone's got the gold standard SM7s. I'm very familiar uh -huh. with oh, them. They're, they're, they're a me. fantastic microphone. But you know, I was like, I want people to be. We're having some drinks we're sometimes. Jab, we're we're let's get a little flowy. Let's, get let's, a little let's be able to use these hands. Yeah, you know it's nice I mean? having a mic here for no reason. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, you're used to. <laughs> I'm used to a mic in my face, you pig. I'm gonna go oh, on, no, I'm on, gonna that, on that last episode. <laughs> You talked about uh, getting jizz in your eye. Yes, my boyfriend jizzed in my eye and it hurt so badly. I didn't realize that there was pain involved. In I that. also didn't. It was the first time. It but I've never, burns. Uh, it never, burns. It burns. Never you heard. never You never had jizz in your own eye? I've never had jizz in my own eye. You didn't? That I know as a of. kid looking up into it? No. That seems bizarre. You have. No. You pigs. I've you missed, to beat but face. I haven't hit in the face. No. Okay. I haven't, gotten hit, I haven't gotten hit in the eye. It is a bur It is like shampoo. It's a burning sensation. Really? Yeah. It was bad. Yeah, but I mean, scandal. I just, I, again, did you let your uh, partner at that time know that it had hurt? It was my new boyfriend, yes. Oh, it was your boyfriend? It was him. I was like, you jizzed in my eye, and I'm pissed off. And then he tried to be cute and like put eye drops in it, but I couldn't get the eye drops in. And I was like, how do I take a full load of jizz in my eye, not one eye drop? Cause I was like, Ooh, I couldn't get, he couldn't hold my eye open long enough. 
It was a whole thing. <laughs> uh, it's a whole, it, yeah. He, well, I so guess he, I just didn't realize it was hurting, I guess. It hurts a lot. Yeah, I've just burns. never heard anyone complain about well, that. that was my because first time. women are getting shy in the bedroom when they need to open up. Yeah, women. I'm, I'm, there's so many women who aren't farting in front of their men, which I'm really getting pissed off about. Women are yeah, that's like, still a thing. Oh yeah, my it's wife. Crazy. Just, Does she fart in front of you? Dude, constantly. Thank God, as she should. Yeah. She's We've been with our wives forever. Yeah, so since like, I met my wife at 19. Since I was 19 We've been as well. Aw, so. you guys are wholesome boys. You know it. That's, that's why I like Jeremiah so much. Yeah, yeah you guys like Jeremiah. I'm out there fucking. <laughs> and I've only, I've only had sex with one person. <laughs> yeah, right. One person. No, I'm just kidding. I was like, there's no way. I, was like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe these band boys. No way in hell. Yeah, no, I can't. Yeah, Jeremiah, I was like, this is the most unrelated I've ever felt to a guest in my life. I'm like, one person. I hear he's only okay. had sex twice because he's got a second kid now. Yeah, yeah, he's, it's two times. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's how it happens. Two times in. Two times. Two I mean, loads, that's, that's good that's sperm, it. though. I mean, yeah, that's, yeah. That's, that's a good Strong ratio. Strong sperm. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I good. heard on your podcast with Toby that you divulged your first uh, rock star love was Tom DeLonge. Oh, yeah. Did he, so I don't know if you want oh, to share yeah. that story or not, but I also want to know, Look. did that ever get passed on to him? It did not. Oh. I have... I was obsessed with Blink-182 in a way that's not normal. Like, I know that everyone's like, oh, I was a big fan. My entire bedroom was wall-to-wall posters. I would find little tiny cutouts if I had a little hole in the wall, and i put a little tiny cutout there. My mom got a full-length, like, a, a cardboard cutout of them and gave it to me for my birthday. Like, found it at this, like, store awesome. in the mall. Crazy. So I've been obsessed with, especially Tom. I don't know what it was about Tom. I got my lip pierced after he did. I had I still have the fucking scar from it. I had the same hoop that he did. Like a this is psychotic, okay? Yeah. I told Toby that I used to masturbate to Tom. <laughs> so I had these posters in my room, and there's one where he would look right at me, and I had this wiggly pen that I would keep under my bed, and then I would like. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. First of all, what is a wiggly pen? You said that. So what is a wiggly? You know, I don't know. I don't think they have it anymore. But like, it was a, a pen where it would have different end, ends. And it would like, you'd turn it on, it was like a vibrator. It would like vibrate oh, and then okay. you, it would do like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Stuff. I do Yeah, I think more girls probably use them, whatever. <laughs> so I, my parents got them for Christmas. But, but more. Is that why my sister had so many? <laughs> That's exactly why. Knowing your sister. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, oh, wait. Did you? No. I oh. did it. Oh, okay. But you know someone who did? Oh, yeah. I can't talk about stuff like okay. that. Okay. <laughs> Come on. On this podcast? Come on. Um, so hey, I used to I used to keep this pen under my bed and it was like look at now it simply was a vibrator I keep calling it a wiggly pen yeah, it yeah, was yeah. simply a vibrator and that could was, also write that could also write I never use that end of it but Tom this one poster I fuck I might let me look for the photo I yeah. think I actually Please have the poster we'll put, right. it in the, we'll put it in the video I think I, you know, I think I actually have the photo of the exact post I'm talking about we'll where Tom was looking at me. above so it's looking please. at you. Yes. So please reenact what you're talking about. So Tom would look at me and I would hold the, vibe, like the wiggly <laughs> pen and I'd pretend that I was like kissing Tom. And it wasn't even that like vile. It'd be more like kissing, I guess, because I was like still young. I, was still, I think I was like 15 or 16. So it wasn't like, I wasn't like fucking me in yeah. the I, I didn't even know what sex was. What? I don't know. I didn't know <laughs> I, I was 19. As much as I'm a big pig, I was, I was old. But I was like, I was obsessed. I was so obsessed with him, it was crazy. Was he part of the cutout as well? Oh yeah, he was part of the cutout. I never, the cutout stayed. I didn't want to like. You didn't mess with the cutout? No, the cutout got messed with one day because I got arrested in high school and my mom got really mad. So she dragged the cutout downstairs and all their heads got like knocked off. So I had to like tape their heads back on and put like a pencil crayon behind and hold it up. Colored pencil, you guys call it differently out here. Mm. Um, but anyways, if Tommy you're listening, I have a boyfriend now, but um, you know, if you and your wife. <laughs> wait, 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 no, 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 no. no. I, I mean, I think it's like, that was like my one, it was my one big crush. That yeah. I was like, I just wanna, I want, even to s- smooch him once. Yeah. Now I'm being cute. Smooch. And you never met him? Smooch. I've never met him. Yet. I, and apparently he comes to the store. I've never seen him at the comedy store. Mm-hmm. And I would fucking like, I, I, the only other musician I fangirled over was Josh Holm from Queen's Age. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. I saw him at Eric Andre's birthday party thing that he has and I literally stopped dead on my tracks and I was like, don't be weird, don't be weird. I went, hello, sir, and then I walked away. But that's it. <laughs> I don't really fan over like celebrities. I fan more over musicians, I think. Well, that's one and the same, right? It is, you guys are celebrities. Yeah, sorry, that's offensive. <laughs> <laughs> That's very offensive. <laughs> no, I'm teasing. But I'm like, I see comics now. I'm like, yeah, okay. I'm like, some, some I'm a fan over, but yeah. yeah. No, I mean, I think that's, 
again, this is all under the entertainment umbrella, yes. umbrella right? I mean, it's, that's sports, that's, you know, well, Celebrity acting, in general is such a weird term anymore. Yeah, I don't know. There's I don't people think I'm a celebrity, I'm like, uh, you've seen me on Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> you've seen me on Instagram Reels. It's, and old dads. It's, and old dads. And uh, soon to be Hacks. Uh, the ha- my Hacks episode is coming out. If you watch Hacks on HBO, I have not seen Hacks. No, it's very good. Is that what, what yeah, show Jean is that? Smart. I heard good things about it. I yeah, it's it. great. She, it's like she's a um, Jean Smart is like a, a stand-up comic from the '80s and is, is still doing it. And she's like, has a residency in Vegas, and she gets a, a younger comic, Hannah Burner. Uh, sorry, Hannah Burner. Um, I'm Burner. Oh my God, it's added that part out. Hannah mm-hmm. Burner to come uh, help her write and stuff, and it's super. It's really good. Nice. It's really funny. I'll it's definitely really check yeah. that out. Do you have any, so that's hacks you got coming up. Is there any yeah. other acting roles you got coming up that you uh, I'm on a Hulu about? show right now. Chris Estrada, who's also a comedian. Okay, I'm on yeah. his, uh, This Fool. I play a, a gym coach. And um, that's it for right now, yeah. Awesome. Mm-hmm. And just that and the touring right now and the podcast. Touring and the podcast. And I'm working on my own special. And um, oh, I'm, yeah, I'm I do a lot of content. You doing your own special. Are you going to do yes. the... Uh, the YouTube kind of thing, or are you no, you're working with a deal I'm at this trying point? to get somebody else. Okay, so gotcha. That. But that's why I'm like, follow me on Instagram because it really fucking helps when you do. Um, yeah, I don't want to do YouTube because I get trolled so often that I don't want my first special being men being like, she's fat and ugly. <laughs> like, that's all I get. It's so stupid. So I'm like, I, my, my second special, sure, whatever. But my first special, I want to be on like a streaming site where I can't read these horrendous comments. And yeah. I said I read them, and I shouldn't read them. I know I shouldn't, but... No, I mean, for a long time, I... Like, when I very first got into social media, I was late to the party, obviously, or some people know, whatever. Um, but by the time I did, I, I, I tried to tell myself, oh, I'm going to stop reading the comments and stuff. And now I read them. I actually like the trolls now. I think they're fucking hilarious. Some are. Some were trying to troll me yesterday on TikTok Live. I was getting trolled. They were saying I looked like that one guy from Stranger Things. I'm like, that's fine. <laughs> I'll take that. Mike, whatever. I'm like, that's cool. The, but like, the, the lead kid who's... Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's when they're like, she's not funny. When, when, it's when people say I'm fat. I'm like, I go to the gym every fucking day. Don't be calling my ass fat. I'm working my I ass off. I don't think up. anyone get like... It's crazy. They might care about fat. fat anymore. Oh, fat and ugly is all I get. And I'm like, comment on the comedy. Okay, like if you're gonna if you're gonna troll, yeah, yeah. But it's I yeah I just that's why I want and I want it to be like my YouTube page isn't that big yet, so I want it to be a big streaming site. Not yet. Go follow. Go and follow my subscribe. YouTube. Damn it, Steph Tolov. Yes. there it is. That's it. Well, I guess that's it for tonight. No, okay. no, I got one more question. Oh, there's no questions. Big Bill. Oh, that's right. How Big did we not talk Bill. about wrestling? Huge wrestling fan. Huge Big. wrestling fan. Do you know here. Steph Delander? No. How do you know Steph? She was okay. I'm gonna find it right now. So Steph Delander, actually, she's fucking amazing. She was on my. Hold on. Here we go. She was on my podcast. She actually, the way she came on my podcast was so hilarious. Check her out. Have you seen her? She was on WWE, I believe. She got kicked off, and I heard reasons why. It was insane. Oh, but, okay. I remember seeing her. Yeah. She's amazing. So she was dating a guy in Australia, and he liked me, and she liked me, and he cheated on her, and then she liked DM me to be on my podcast to like kind of spite him, and then I was like, of course. I'm all for spiting men who've cheated on, of course. And now we're like super good friends. Anyways, so she... Is a good friend of mine, Russell. But Big Bill happened because I don't know if you know Earl Skakel. Yeah. Earl's a comedian and he's a huge wrestling guy. Oh, okay. So I, again, trying to work on my Instagram to get more fucking followers and shit. And I was like, I'm going to Tampa. And he's like, oh, I have a, a buddy there named. Do you want a refill, by the way? I'm good, thank you. Okay. I must drive home. Okay. <laughs> um, but he's like, yeah, I have a, a buddy out there. He'd be down for content. And I was like, oh, who is this guy? And he says to me, this guy, Big Bill. Because I have this character called Marcy where Marcy's whole thing is she's trying to find a man. And she always like, the joke is that I like, it's me who's like, for fuck's sakes. It's my manager. <laughs> that one I might not take. Um, so the whole thing is uh, Marcy like keeps finding these guys and then saying that nobody wants her, but she's like a butch woman with like sunglasses on her head, whatever. So B- Big Bill, I reach out and I'm like, hey, this is crazy, but I'm like, would you want to do this video with me where I pretend that like, you know, you don't want me, but you do. And it's a whole thing. He's like, 100%. So he comes to my hotel room in Tampa with my butt, my opener was there too. It was hilarious. He is fucking choke slamming me, doing like the fucking people's elbow, like doing all the. It was insane, and the video did okay. I thought it was gonna go crazy viral because like there's an image of him literally like I had a still of him holding me, and like it's cr- it's crazy. Yeah. And he was so nice, and he was so cool, and he was so funny, and he was so professional. He's like, okay, let's rehearse it a few times. And I was like, yeah, I'm not getting choked slammed in my bed without getting a fucking, I, I've got a full rehearsal here. 
<laughs> yeah, but he was so, he was the best. Yeah. He's, it was amazing. He seems, so I, he's one of the guys I haven't met yet. We, through doing this podcast, we've become uh, friends with a lot of the guys in AEW and some in uh, WWE yeah. over the years and stuff. Because I've just been a fan and, you know, sometimes they get wind of my band being, you know, in fandom and stuff. So yeah, we've met yeah, some yeah. stuff. Over, uh, but haven't met Big Bill yet, but I have, just him being around uh, in the dressing rooms and stuff, I've seen them. And then like his characters, he's, he's quiet, but he's, He's comical. Like he, oh, he is. He's he's a comedian. He he has he has yeah. timing. He has timing. Yes, he has timing. It's just funny also working with uh, wrestlers because they're so professional. They're like, okay, so what's my line? Okay, and then he'll like say it a few times. I'm like, oh, you can say whatever you want. He's like, no, no, no. I, I'm so you're saying give me you feed me your line. I'm like, this is so funny because I'm used to like being like, okay, let's roll. Especially whatever. with like, other comedians. Yeah, yeah I'm like, we'll just improvise a scene, yeah, whatever. Yeah. And he was so like specific about it. It was very it was very nice. That's cool. Was very, he was so professional. He was so kind. Yeah. Did, did you, you get to go to a live one or? Sorry. Did you go see him live? I or? didn't see him oh. live. No, I did. he was actually flying to Nashville the next day, and I was uh, flying out of Tampa. You got to go see one, even if you're not a fan. I just no, the live I have to. I'm, like, I'm weirdly like now I know Steph and her boyfriend, who's another wrestler and stuff. So it's like. Did you grow up watching wrestling at all? No, but everyone always says I should be. I should have been a wrestler. I think I got big wrestling vibes. Yeah. I oh yeah the way I come out on stage I'm like. A cycle of my good. like filth queen rompers and shit. Like it says, fil- oh yeah, yeah, good. yeah. Where did the romper start? I I was uh, you know what it was. I was I wore a dress on stage one night because I used to wear dresses because I do a lot of act outs, do a lot of deep squats and stuff. And it was a kind of a weirdly, it was a bit deeper V than I normally wear. And I did like a shake, and I saw a man in the front row look directly at my tits, and he was like, "Oh," and I remember <laughs> going, "Oh." And I remember feeling so uncomfortable that I was like, oh, I'm never wearing this on stage again. And then I like weirdly put on, uh, put, like tried on a romper and I was like, oh, this feels more like me. Like I feel I can like deep squat, I can like bop around and you're not seeing anything. Yeah. That, that's, that's so funny because you just put on something that's, that's actually a real question, like a real, not, they're all real questions, but I mean, it's like a little bit more real life. Like I don't have to deal, deal with that as a man. No. Like, so like. I mean, you're talking about it as a performer, but what about like everyday life? I mean, there's a lot of, oh, I, I hear yeah, from females, yeah, just yeah, like, yeah. It's so I feel odd. bad because sometimes I feel bad, sometimes I don't. But like, I'm like <laughs> creeping on girls, you know, like I can't help it. Like, so, yeah, it, you gotta do it. There's a way to do it subtly. Yeah, we with can, sunglasses on and just kind of side eye, eye it, right? Yes, we're all looking. Yeah. It's the turning of the head, it's the gawking, it's the touching the lower back for no reason, it's the comments. Like, there's touching ways... Touching the lower back? Oh, it was a lot of touching of lower back. What does that mean? Disgusting. It's a lot of guys, excuse me, and they'll do the great in the lower back. And oh, like to that. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's oh, a lot that. of that. I thought you were saying to their own back. Like, no, what the hell does that mean? If you're gonna, if you're gonna move somebody, it's a shoulder tap move, it's not right, a lower right. back. Like, yeah, it's crazy. But this was like, especially one thing, but I'm like, Maybe it would have helped if my tits were out. I probably had more followers on Instagram. But do you think because of your comedy style that people feel more comfortable that they could be a creep? Yes. Like, like oh, it's it's because I say this, now I have a free pass when it's not yes. true. Right? That's very true because I had, uh, this is very specific, but I had a, a guy in Colorado Springs, and I don't want to go back there because of this one guy specifically. I think I saw him on Tinder, and he like DM me on Instagram. He's like, hey, so you're in town, whatever. I'm like, oh my God, come on my show tonight, whatever. I'm doing a show. Comes after the show, he's like hanging around. I'm like... All right, thanks for coming. He's like, well, you know, I did you a favor, so now I'm like, so now what? He thought I was going to fuck him because I told him to come to my show because I talk openly about sex and guys I've slept with that now he gets to have sex with me. Like, it's Hmm. very strange the amount of men who think because I'm so open about sex that it's now their turn. Wow. It's very bizarre. And then I had a guy in Milwaukee, husband and wife. Very strange. I was standing there. I hope you're fucking listening to this. Maybe super uncomfortable. He runs up to me, grabs my arms. He goes, you dirty little slut. And wow. I was like, pardon Someone me? Someone you never met. Never met my life. And I went, stranger. excuse me? And this is like the meet and greet line. So I'm like, uh, people like lining up, people are buying my merch. I'm like, huh? And he said it again. I'm like, I don't know what this means, man. And it was like super weird. And his wife comes up and goes, oh my God, you're actually attractive. And I was like, oh, what? That was... She goes, oh, you look ugly online. Wow. Even <laughs> she even she had something to say. Huh? And I was like, and they got a photo with me. And I was like standing there with, oh my God. And the guy was like not wait, looking wait, at the camera. You took a photo after I said, they yes. said it? So he said this to me. He You're too nice. I'm too nice. Like, I'm too too fucking oh, Canadian. Oh, really? Get the fuck out of line. <laughs> I really should have. I'm too fucking Canadian. And then he was like looking at me and not the camera. And I was like, it was so bizarre. That's yeah. wild. Do, yeah, people people feel like do you think? Do you think it's gotten worse, better, or do you just think? Is it hard for you to say because you are in the limelight? I think, yeah, I think because I, I, I am more in the public eye now that people feel it, but I think, I think it's mostly women who 
talk like me or who are more open about stuff that get more crazy stuff just because they think that they can say whatever they want now because we do this. And I'm like, I, to be honest, when I'm with my boyfriend, I'm very sweet. Yeah. I'm very nice. I'm not like, I mean, I'm sorry, I just take a lot, but I'm not like, <laughs> you know, like dipping my lips from the house. I'm like, I'm a very sweet, nice person. I'm not, because sometimes when people after, after the, the meet and like, let's get a photo of you like sucking my tits. I'm like, no, I don't want to do that. I just, I just did that on stage. It's like my, you know, stage persona in person. I'm like, yeah, I'm so gross, but I'm not going to suck your tits in the photo, in the, in the right. line. Yeah, would you yeah. do that to a normal person that yeah, you like, no, walked like, up to? Like, hey, thanks for changing my tire. Yeah. Can I suck on your tits? Literally, they, they want to motorboat like, yeah. me and like, grab my want, ass, and it's bizarre. And that's, that's for you in comedy. Like, and yeah, that's, that's an obvious you know, bit in a lot of yeah. ways, right? Still you, with, the, you know, with the, the knob turned up a little bit, Yes, right? exactly. Uh, I wonder how that must be for all these influencers and stuff because I mean they're oh, yeah. very sexual out there mm. when they get recognized if they ever do like out in the real world oh yeah world, they must, like, must people must have they must oh, just yeah, be for sure. awful to them oh yeah we had a friend uh, we met through the show niece Wade Hoffer Wade Hoffer and she ended up uh, unfortunately taking her life taking her own life but oh, the stories she would tell about you know people not only going to her but like her parents and things like that and Jesus and Christ like, the kids today like I feel like such a man because I keep saying that but like this social media thing is is kind of scary, especially for women it more than scary. anything. I, think. I, I, mm-hmm. like, I told my sister too, I'm like, I don't know if I want her to post, like I, I haven't really posted her. She's the most beautiful baby on the planet. And I'm like, I don't really want to post her. I'll do it to stories, but like, I don't want to post too much of you. And I don't want my people knowing where my family lives in case. Yeah. I, I, I have people that really hate me. Like my trolls that don't like me really. Like someone, this is so fucked up. Someone literally DM me. I sincerely hope you get raped. Whoa. Like that's the kind of shit I'm getting. Like I'm getting fucked up shit. Yeah, it's not even funny though. It's not funny at all. And it was like I, I was like, it's probably my ex boyfriend. But I was like, oh, this is like you know, I mean, probably something fucked. But I was like, this is the kind of shit that I'm getting. And so I'm like, if you're gonna go to the extent, obviously it was a, a fake account because I had clearly blocked whoever this person was before because they it was like an account with no followers and no nothing. I'm like, you're gonna go to the, the extent to make a separate account, get a new email address just to continue to troll me. It's like so crazy. Yeah. It's so weird because I've. I, but keep making them and follow her account as much as you can. She needs all the yeah, followers. Yeah, I special. really do. Yeah, yeah, I really want the special with a specific network. Yeah, um, we don't know which I'm one that is. Very but close. Yeah, no. I think we know which one it is. <laughs> <laughs> I think we know. I need to come, give me the 200K, and yeah, I think yeah. they'll say yes. Um, uh, what is your favorite Netflix show? Favorite Netflix show? Uh, to be honest, I watch more Hulu. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. What's no, your favorite Hulu show? Honestly, I, honestly yeah, this is sick. I watch Law & Order SVU every day. I used to do that like constantly. I have. It's been years since me and my wife, before we had the kid around and stuff like that, like every, like during the afternoon, because it's on yes. all day on, yes. on the USA Network, yes, right? Yes, yes, yes. And we would just, I mean, I'd seen several episodes many times. I love Mershka. I, oh, I'm, I'm all about Stabler. Oh, Stabler's oh, sick, dude. I am in the Stabler. Tom DeLong, look out. Elliot <laughs> Stabler is... <laughs> Stabler, I will... I, yeah, it's, it's funny, though, because it's like... Do you, think it, do you think it's more the character? I think it's... I don't know. I think because, I mean, well, what was it? Wet Hot American oh, Summer? Oh, he's, he's so funny. Hilarious he's the that. funniest person in that movie. What was that show that he he's did? He's a magician. Magician. Musician, too. Yeah. Is he? Mm-hmm. I didn't know that. I didn't I'm know. What sure was he, he play? Is. Fucking hit him up. Hit him up. My God. If he comes, I'm coming to the Excuse me. I'm coming back. I will drive to Huntington Beach for that. I was like, I tell you right fucking now. <laughs> what was that show that he did too? The, uh, the, it, Happy? Oh, happy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Happy. I didn't see Happy. I didn't watch it, but. It's, it's Seth pretty, Republic. it's okay, pretty okay, out there. Okay. It's, okay. It's, I want to see it. It's dark comedy uh, revolved around like, okay. like a drug addiction and oh, stuff. Okay. It's, uh, Cause I love him. I haven't watched I watch. the entire series. I've watched several episodes, though, and okay. it's, it's, it's good. There he is, right there. there. Is. My God. Okay, I'm going to watch it. There it is. Oh, we love <laughs> this. <gasps> Chris Maloney, you is this dirty him? bastard. Um, oh, shit, I forgot to hit screen record on that. <laughs> oh, there he is, blowing up his, his oh, barbecue. Is... Um, yeah, that's... I love him. But I don't watch that much comedy. I watch more... Um, no, that's not him. That's not that's that a different guy. this guy? What are you doing over there, Sam? What the hell is this guy? This guy's a liar. <laughs> what so, did you do? So, 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 some side note. This is yeah. my... Charles <laughs> like, 
let's put the computer out. You can start looking up stuff. And yeah, I'm like, this is a brilliant idea. <laughs> <I'm not laughs> back, back to us, like learning how to podcast. I was like, yeah, I watch a lot of podcasts. I usually have like their producer off there listening to everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make sure it's before good. recording. No, we yeah, do yeah, it right. Well, Seth's coming over. Let's fucking try. Keep it live. Keep it live. We're here on the ground floor, people. Keep it live. That's right. We'll get it together one of these days. Yeah, one of these days. <laughs> well, thank you so much for coming Thanks out. Thanks for having check. me. I know you got a phone call to, to get I back to. I have to call my manager. I know exactly yeah. what the phone calls. It's drama. We've got some drama to deal Ooh. with. Here we go. You want to share it? No. It's okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> you shared enough drama. I shared a around. lot. A lot yeah. of my dick sucking stories. Follow yeah. me on Instagram, for God's sakes. Follow yeah. my podcast. Follow and you should my podcast. Yes. Drive, I'd love you to. drive to Burbank? I will. There you go. I will. Take I'll make the drive. You made the drive. Okay, that's there the least I can do. Okay, good. I'll, I'll bring something too. I don't know what. Okay. I'll think about it during this Tell conversation. Tell me about me a t-shirt, so maybe yeah, a t-shirt lying around. Oh. Love oh. a band shirt. I love a band shirt. I think I think I think okay. I know a couple. I think I know a couple. <laughs> but anyways, uh, again, thank you so much, everyone. Go check out more of Steph Tolov. Uh, again, the, this uh, Steph uh, Infections podcast. Mm -hmm. Follow her everywhere on social media. Easy enough to do. Do you have a dot com as well? No, just the Instagram is the main thing. Main yeah. thing, yeah, main yeah, thing. Yeah. Let's yeah. just focus everybody Get on Instagram. Instagram. Don't worry about there. the other stuff yes. yet. Follow Instagram for a few yes. weeks and then start following the other stuff. Yes, How about yes, that? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much, Steph. Thank you. It's been thank a pleasure you. getting to know you. You too. Cheers, everybody. Till next time. Cheers.